Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, my God. 
no false ego that I am so lovely, I am guru and guru. He also, you can know that for oh, him, must have job with your senior, his senior teacher. Not his uh, very grave and controlling anyone. Never. Never control. By out of love. So, I always want to follow him. What I am telling, not of any word, not mine, but their words, their realization, their preaching. So, I request you to go very deep in his preaching. If you are always busy to take the meaning of his instruction, outwardly, externally one, then you will be deceived. No, deceived. And you will be cheated. So try to go in deep and try to understand his. He may tell like other gurus in our Acharya Parampara. So many contradictory things. For, for so many classes of devotees, grade of devotees, they may tell. But we will have to what, reconcile them, or not harmonize them. Reconcile. Why he is told, hear this and So he may be, he may tell it in different circumstances. Like, oh, there are so many things in Srimad Bhagavad Chaitanya Chaitanya also. Also, in Srimad Bhagavad we can see Krishna told to gopis, oh, very dark night, very, very dangerous, oh, forest in, and so many beasts are here. And you should at once return back. And after that, Krishna asked, when I told you to go? There was no dark night, no dangerous animals there, oh, whole moon night, but he told that darkness, so I never told you to return. But we will have to. Why he told that time and why? You should not go from, you should stay here. And we will turn and Oh, everything. Depends on the qualification of devotees. They should be. Now I am coming to my class. Oh, in India, after Mahabharat, two bad days came. And once it was in the control of Mohammedan Muslim rulers. And at that time, in Bengal, there was a king, Muslim, Hussein Shah. Once he was making a very high tomb, so many thousands of workers were in work. So expert machines were working so hard. When it was about to be completed, King himself went there on the high place. Fire And he saw that, oh, very wonderful character. In India there is no tomb like this. And he was appreciating the masons. But the head mason told that though it is so 
beautiful and so good, wonderful. But we can do more than this. Then at once, king took the hands of that mission and he threw out from there. And he was killed. If they are here and not if in life, they can make more better than this. I cannot be. So he killed. And he was very angry. And at that time there was a person there. Is one of the personal assistant or anyone. Oh, you should go at once and bring. But what bring? Enough. At once he should go. And by fear he ran from there. And thinking of what order he has given, what to bring. But he never thought that what. Then he was in very well. And he left that place, that town. And he went in another town to share himself. Thinking that what should I do. Then one day he was very worried well, and he was going through any road. And he saw that, oh, there were two brothers, very beautiful. They were looking towards him. They saw that he, this man is very, very, so they called that person. There is the two boys, two brothers, were like 16, 17 years. They called this person and told that, oh, I see you that every day you are here and there only. And you seem very worried. What is your question? They told, oh, I am the personal assistant assistant of my oh, King Bhushan Sahabasa. He told me to bring something. But what to bring, he never told. And out of fear, I fled away from there. If he will see me and search me, then he may kill me. So I am so worried. Oh. Can you tell when he gave you this order, or oh, where he was sitting or where he was and what doing? Then they to told all these things. That on the tomb, he there. And there, he killed that nation and we ordered. What to bring? Oh, you should not bring. You should take very expert missions from here. Two missions. And at once go and tell king. And they told that, oh, in this town, oh, very expert, two missions are there. And he get them and told that you should go and tell him. Then he became so happy, but fearing even. And he went to king and told, Oh, king, I have brought these two expert missions. Hearing this, he began to laugh. Oh, ho, oh, oh. huh? ho. Oh, how you know, knew my ways? Oh, I could not. But in that town, there are two brothers, very expert, very learned, though they are young is but very expert in all. They know all kinds of language, especially Sanskrit, oh, Urdu, Farsi, and all other languages. Very expert. Then he told, oh, I wanted this, but at that time I was worried that I told you to bring, but I did not tell you what to do. What to bring? Oh, this is very wonderful and very intelligent. Oh, you should go again and request them that both brothers should come to me and they should. Can you tell who was who were they? Not that. Eh? Amar and Santosh. 
সন্তোষ সনাতন গোস্বামী আমার সনাতন গোস্বামী এন সন্তোষ রূপ গোস্বামী প্রাইভেট সেক্রেটারি এন্ড প্রাইম মিনিস্টার রূপ সনাতন গোস্বামী ওয়াজ প্রাইম মিনিস্টার এন্ড রূপ গোস্বামী প্রাইভেট সেক্রেটারি থ্রি ব্রাদার্স এন্ড এজ ফার এজ নো আই নো ওয়ান সিস্টার ওয়ান সিস্টার so they were working as chief minister and private secretary so many yes they did but when chaitanya mahaprabhu taking sanyas from puri he returned after sanyas he went to puri and from puri he went to south and he met with rai ramananda and then he returned to puri and again he declared that i am going to vrindavan and he was coming but he was coming at the route oh by ganges he came first to the bank of ganges from puri and from there he was coming to vrindavan he when he came to reach to oh huh কানাইয়া নাটশালা হ্যাঁ এবাউট দেন দ্য কিংডম অফ কুশেনশা সো মেনি ক্রাউড সো মাচ ক্রাউড ওয়াজ देयर উইথ মহাপ্রভু চৈতন্য চৈতামৃত হ্যাজ রিটেন মোর দ্যান ল্যাক্স ওয়ার অলওয়েজ অল ফলোইং এন্ড দে ওয়ার কামিং always kirtan hari katha when they reached to kanaiya last sala the name of that place was mohamden any mohamden but sanatan goswami and rup goswami changed they made it kanaiya nath sala they made their radha kund sham kund and all this ram ke ram ke so when chaitanya mahaprabhu came with so much followers in the night rup and sanatan they changed their dresses and they took dhoti and short and very very simple and they came came to chaitanya mahaprabhu also anpam and his son jeev goswami very little boy baby less than 2 years he was in their laps and they gave this jeev goshami in the in the feet of lotus feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu after that sanatan goshami told to chaitanya mahaprabhu i'm telling very brief he told that this is the not process to govinda this is not the process to govinda how to go hello oh like a street beggar not taking so much money or money and any opulence you will see rup sanatan how they came to vrindavan mahaprabhu also so this is not the way that the thousands and thousands of crowd you are going to vrindavan because so many problems will come here also oh you are so many 
more than 200. So some problems are here. Where to stay, where to host, where to for prasadam here and there. It may be that some will be very sick and doctors will be needed. So many problems. And for Elon, nothing. Nothing in pocket. Where it will be night, he will stay and he can be one chapati anywhere. In the houses of devotees. So, nothing in need. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, Oh, you are friendly. I'm telling you. I am doing mistake. If I am doing like so, or any king may think that I am going to invade his kingdom. Also Sanatana Goswami told that, Oh, oh this is the fact I came to you. Kushan Sahabhasa retreated at me to go and search who is he and how so many persons are there. Does he want to invade me, attack me? So, Sanatana Goswami told Better is to go alone. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu decided for I should return to Puri. And from there again next year I will go to Puri. So he returned back. Was his this journey in vain? His purpose was solved. Parsa, Bhavad Vidha, Bhagavata, Tirthi, Bhuti, Anti Tirthani, Shanta, Stain, and What is the meaning? That personalities such as yourself are places of holy pilgrimage. That indeed, you purify, Jethi Tirthani, you purify the holy places by your presence. So the Supreme Person of Godhead is, is purified in holy places of pilgrimage because the Supreme Person of Godhead is situated in your heart. There is no anything, no self-interest. Personally, I have no interest. No self again. Nothing. In these old days, you know how troublesome for me to go and prepare. So Narada Rishi, Sukhade Goswami, even they don't want any cloth, nothing. Why they are wrong? Going here and there. Pat Vidha, Bhagavata, Tithi Bhuta, Shrain Prabho, Tithi Purvan, Tithan, Santas, Tain, Gada. Pure devotees, they have no worldly desire. Except Oh, I want to serve. So they keep Krishna and control in their heart. Always Gadabhrata. What is the meaning of Gadabhrata? Gadabhrata? You know? With Gada. Club. and sharing whole world. This is min one meaning, general meaning. But for pure devotee, oh, they will reject what? Who speaks very sweet with Bansi? He speaks Radhe Radhe. Oh, cows, Kalindi, hmm? Kalindi, Gange, Jamne, Pishangi, like this. And also Gopi, Radhe, Lalite, Vishakhe. And they advance at Takta Dandi. So by Bansi, who is, he speaks so sweet, he is Gada Bhrita. So, the pure devotees, High class of devotees, always keeping this Krishna with Radhika and Gopis in their hearts. And by this, 
wherever they go, this place becomes Tirtha. Tirthi Kurvanti Tirthani. Even to Tirth, they make holy place. How? By their lotus dust feet. They have nothing to take anywhere. Only to eat what? This pure heart. Swamiji never came for any his self-interest. Never. Not for name and fame. Out of what? Feet. To, to, to serve the order of his Gurudev. To preach this mission. And that is why he attracted oh, lakhs and lakhs of devotees. Oh, in couple of years, you know, in couple of years. He never wanted anything for his own. Never. And that is why very soon he preached the mission. So a devotee, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, came there, wanted to sprinkle his mercy in the hearts of Rupa Sanatha and also Jiva. Then he told to them very secretly, I want that you should give up these jobs. I am going to Vrindavan. I want that you should meet me in Vrindavan. Be straight beggar and come to me. I will come alone there and you should meet me. And then he left. At once, at once one order was sufficient for him. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, they followed very strictly. They wanted to how solve this, that how they can meet in Chaitanya to Mahaprabhu when he is in Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu returned to Puri and next year he started alone with very dangerous forests where elephants, tigers, bears, again dogs, all them. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no weapon, no gun or pistol or anything, uh, but of pistol of frame and love, always chanting Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Rama, 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 Rama. Then Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Pai Imam, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava. Why Rakshama? Pai Imam, what is the meaning of Pai Imam? No. I am offering myself totally. Pahi, Pahi. I am offering everything. Now I am not mine. I am of yours. This is called Pahi. Like Draupadi. Oh. Prahimam, Pahimam. Send me. I cannot save me myself. Now I have given fully in your lotus feet. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, why he is, what is his problem that he is calling like this? Why? Oh, separation mode. He has taken training in the school of Vishakha, Raya Ramananda. And now he is feeling separation so much that I myself is Radhika. And so much separation mode for Krishna. Always he was feeling like this. So in forest also. Oh, he saw the forest. Oh, this is Vrindavan. A river. Oh, Kalindi is here. Some 
mountains of the Raj Govardhan, some cows, oh, this is the house of Krishna. Cowherd boy, oh, these are friends of Krishna. And he used to weep bitterly and call Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Tamam, partner. Tigers even sleeping in the way. If touched by Mahaprabhu feet, they used to. Oh. Chant Krishna, Krishna, Krishna like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. When he used to speak and to chant Hare Krishna loudly, whole forest used to follow him. What? Echo. Echo used to. And whole creatures, whole creepers, trees, and animals, grosses, vegan. They want. They used to hear, and at once they will Miracle he did. In the here, other hand, anyhow he reached to Vrindavan. Prabhu Goswami knew it, and anyhow he resigned, gave up this post. And with his younger brother, Anpam, oh, he went to his house. This is the process that Prabhu Goswami did. You can follow process if you want. You eager to follow. He went to his native place. He has so much money. He divided into two and gave it to his family and told that you should maintain your life like this. And half of these he kept with for the training of Yugoslav, for his education. And he took 7,000 golden coin with him. He kept him where he, he was at first, in capital, Ram Kelly Ground. Oh, that if any need, Sanatan Goswami can be helped. And when he came, left, he wrote a letter to Sanatana Goswami. Then he became man, like a beggar, street beggar. No, nothing in his pocket. No shirt, nothing. Only some worn and torn cloth, dhoti, only. And one shot. Nothing else. If anything, oh, he can beg here and there. One chapati, two chapati, not more. They went to Vrindavan. And in the way they wrote a letter and sent to Sanatan Goswami. He wrote only, no hope, only some letters. Some letters. Five or six letters he wrote. That anyone cannot understand. If king may see, or oh, he could, he cannot understand. Oh, he wrote call. Letter K. Ma. And then saw. And so many letters. Six or seven. And this made one poetry. Or slow. Call. Where went Madhupuri, the capital place of Krishna? Kogata Jadupuri. Understand? Once upon a time, oh, Mathura was the kingdom of uh, like whole India. Dwarka was also. Ajodhya was also. But now desert. Where they went? Where Ram came again, went and where Krishna, his kingdom, his so beautiful palaces, where they are now. What is the meaning? If Ravan again went, Ram went, and his all appellants went, oh, you like a poor in front of them. So you should think this, and at once you should give up your whole thing. 
your appliance, your position and everything, and come to Vrindavan. Rupa Goswami, uh, Sanatana Goswami, he read this and he knew what Rupa Goswami has told. And at once he decided to give up his post and everything. He was not going in council of king, but he told that I am sick and he was not sick. What he was doing? Bhagavad hearing and telling. So many learned scholars of Bhagavatam were there, devotees, and he was discussing all Not anything, no problem, nothing. Always he was thinking in the ocean of love and affection. King himself came to see what he is doing. Then king told, I am going to a war in Odisha to invade Jagannath Puri, so you should come with me. He told flatly, I can. I cannot go to uh, attack Jagannath Puri. Never. I don't want to be a minister, your minister, prime minister. You can give this position to anyone. Now I cannot serve you. Then King told that, oh, you are my elder brother. I depend on you. And you are like telling like this. If you are not obeying me, then what do you know? I am a ruler. I will give you punishment. And then he gave him, he put him in jail and he went there. Sanatan Goswami was very happy. You know, it has been written there. Raja more priti kare e more bandhan. Oh, wife is loving so much me, then it is bondage for me. If father is loving, it is bondage for me. What is the poem and you should explain. Raja more priti kare e more bandhan. You know? Oh, please. Shall I Look. They can see. Very important thing. <coughs> if you want to follow Rupa and Sanatan, you should know this meaning and you can follow. But Raja Mare Priti Kare Imur Bandhan. Or Raja Mare Priti Kare Imur Bandhan means if Raja, King, has so much affection for me. He is giving me so much money, so much post, but it is bondage for me. If wife has so much love for any husband, and the husband wants to be a pure devotee, oh, this is bondage for me. Very big obstacle. If he has child, and very, very loving, then this love is like a bondage. He cannot do bhajan. So Sanatana Goswami is telling, anyhow I should do something that he should be angry with me. You know, there was a devotee, age was about hundred. And he wanted to take sannyas, but his wife was so loving that when he used to take sannyas, she used to make some obstacles. Huh? One day <coughs> he put fire in his room and took chadar and he was sleeping, posing like sleeping. 
the fire was coming very soon and he wife saw at once entered the room oh you are sleeping oh so much big fire here you should get the place and you should go out of here then she told him <coughs> he came out of at once came off out of house and he told that oh you have now told me that go out of house then i will not never return to house this and go away <laughs> and saying this he left this his wife up was weeping but he told that you have ordered me so i am following you and he went to kashi and took sanyas from madhavendra puri you know madhavendra puri yeah. and he was ballabha charge and he took sanyas and next day or he left his body so sometimes of your the body to want to serve krishna totally for the make cheat others by this thing. so sanatan goshami wanted to cheat the king and he wanted to make the king angry and we became angry and then he gave or first get 5000 golden coins to the jailer you know jailer jailer and he was not satisfied oh help me because i have given this post to you sanatan goshami told then you will have some sukriti i will not be here i will be the muslim darvesh mendicant and i will not be in india i will go to makka so please help me because he was mounted so i became happy but even he was fearing of him then more to two more thousand of golden okay then some water came he from his tun and mouth so much money i have never seen in my whole life i cannot make so much money in my whole life a king will be will come and be angry and he will take my post no harm i can maintain my so he left natham goshan and him with one servant he was coming to vrinda what became you know what became he when he left So, when Sri Sanatan Goswami he escaped from the prison, he could not go to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by the main roads because he would be caught. So he was going through forest areas. very dangerous places and he came to one district called patara when he came into this district he was approached by a very uh, wealthy landlord powerful landlord there who offered to he told him or oh, you can stay with me tonight i will give you some ingredients you can cook for yourself you can take prasadam and in the morning i will send my men with you and they will escort you over this very dangerous tract of land over the hills so uh, sri sanatan goswami hearing this at first he agreed and he went he cooked took prasadam and when he went to take bath he was thinking to himself very deeply because he had been the prime minister of nawab hussein shah so he knew politics he knew the art of diplomacy So he is thinking to himself, why will this person offer to help me for no reason? He must have some motivation. So Sri Sanatan Goswami was very intelligent. He returned back to the place where he was staying 
and there he approached his servant Ishan. And he, he inquired from Ishan, oh, are you carrying with you any valuable things? Ishan, the servant of Sanatana Goswami told him, oh yes, my Prabhu, I have seven gold coins. Why did you bring this with you? Why are you carrying this wealth? This wealth is like Yamraj himself. Certainly anyone might kill us for this. So this is a very dangerous thing. Give me the, the co coins right now. So then Ishan, he took those gold coins and he gave them to Sri Sanatan Goswami. Sanatan Goswami immediately went to the landlord and he told him, here, I want you to take this. I have seven gold coins. I will give you this and as a for the sake of religious principles, please escort us through this very dangerous tract of land. Then, that landlord, by the association of Sanatana Goswami, whose heart was so pure, who was so saturated in Krishna Prem, his influence was so powerful. Not Krishna Prem, but anyhow. Influence. <laughs> his influence, being such a pure devotee, was so powerful that the heart of this landlord melted and he began to confess. He said, Oh, you have saved me from a very sinful act. Tonight, this very night, I was about to kill you and take your money. I have an assistant who is an astrologer. He knows the art of astrology and he had already informed me that two travelers were coming this way and they were carrying with them eight gold coins. Not seven. They're carrying with them eight gold coins. So we made a plan to intercept you, give you a place to stay, and in the night we would have killed you and taken your money. But you've been so merciful to me, and you've saved me from this very sinful act. Surely I would have gone directly to hell for this. Sanatan said, Sanatan Goswami said, Oh, you should accept this money and thereby save me from being killed by someone else. Because if I keep this money with me, it is certain that someone else will try to kill me for, for this. So you should take this money. So then, that person, he accepted the money from Sanatan Goswami and he escorted him over that dangerous tract of land. After they passed through that region and the men had gone, then Sanatan Goswami, he called his servant Ishan. He said, oh Ishan, come here. This gold coin, I know that you have with you some balance because Ishan had not been thoroughly honest. He had told Sanatan, oh, I have seven gold coins and given him seven, but he had kept one secretly. So what was his intention? He was thinking, oh, I'll give him seven gold coins and I'll keep one because in the future a very difficult situation may come and buy this gold, we can buy anything that we need and solve the problem. I'll use this gold in his service. He, he was not selfish. He thought, I will use this one gold coin in the service of Sanatan Goswami. But Sanatan Goswami told him, Oh Ishan, this one gold coin, you should keep it with you and you should return to your home. The you are not qualified to be with me. You are depending on money, not on Krishna. So I don't want a personal life. You cannot help me or you will make so many problems. If you want to be a pure devotee, you should follow Sanatana Goswami, Goswami Raghunath Ashtar. What they did, you should try. And if you are not going, then actually, oh, no, Krishna Prem is very far. Oh, oh. <coughs> so hearing this, Ishan, he was, his heart was broken. He began to cry. Oh, please, don't send me away. I only want to serve you. But Sanatan Goswami was very strong, very strict. He said, no, you keep this coin and you return to your home. Because the devotee is surrendered completely to Krishna. Raksis Shatiti Vishwasvo Goptitte Varanam Tata. The devotee thinks, Krishna is my only maintainer. Krishna is my only protector. And if I take shelter of money, if I take shelter of opulence, if I take shelter of my own intelligence, oh, Krishna is sure to neglect me. I don't want that Krishna will neglect me. 
So I will neglect all of these things. And Krishna is sure to take care of me. Ananyas chinta yanto mam. Ye jana paripashate. Ke samit nitya vyuktanam. Yoga shema vyaham yam. So in this way, Sanatana Goswami continued on his journey towards Vrindavan, following the path along the Ganges alone. Then he came to... So as, as he continued, he came to the one town, it is called Hajipur. So in Hajipur, there he met with Sri Kanta. Sri Kanta was the husband of the sister of Sanatana Goswami, his brother-in-law. And he was working in government service. He was there and he had 3 lakhs gold coins, 300,000 gold coins. At that time, this is an inconceivable amount of wealth. The king had given him this money to purchase uh, horses for the uh, Muslim government. So he was there buying horses and sending them to the emperor. So when Sanatan Goswami came and met with his very wealthy and uh, very aristocratic, highly positioned brother-in-law, his brother-in-law was very happy to meet with him. He told but him... Sanatan Goswami was more than him. Yes. Huh, you know. But he has left now and he has become like a student. So Sanatan Goswami, he was in a higher position. He was the Prime Minister. But he had left that very high position and became like a street beggar. His brother-in-law told him, Oh, you, are, are so, you became dirty and you, your cloth is all ruined. We will give you very nice cloth, fine clothing and you should stay here for some time with me and live like a very aristocratic gentleman. Sanatana Goswami said, No, I will not stay here for one second. Not one second. Help me <coughs> to cross over the Ganges and I will continue on my journey. Why? One minute he will not stay there. Why one minute? Bad association. Even the association of his brother-in-law hmm, was not helpful for him. So, he may request that he used to return. So, he, one moment he will not stay there. And he left that place and came to, but he gets something. So, he was leaving that place, but his brother-in-law just gave him one blanket. One woolen blanket. It was very expensive, very costly. A luxurious blanket. Because why he get a cold season was there for India, or highest cold. So he gave to shape him, and he took it and he went to. After part taken, he heard when he came to Varanasi on the bank of Ganges, very sacred place. He heard that oh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has reached here. And he is returning from Vrindavan. And lakhs and lakhs <coughs> devotees are here in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he has defeated Prakashananda. And he has cut his all arguments of Maya about philosophy. And then he was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so prominent. Oh, and lakhs and lakhs devotees were coming to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was in the house of Chandrasekhar. He came there searching and he was on the door of Chandrasekhar. Now, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked him, what he asked and after that, he said. Now Indri is so angry. He can sound good tolerate. Because all will be liberated and they will go to Golokinda. Jalakar is here. Oh, he has requested that Jal should come. Thank <laughs> you.
Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he inquired from Chandrasekhar and asked him, go and see if somebody has come at his doorstep to meet him. A devotee has come. A devotee has come. Then Chandrasekhar, when he came out, he saw there was no devotee waiting outside. So he came and replied to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saying, I didn't see any devotee sta standing outside to meet you. Then Mahaprabhu again said, did you see anyone there? And when this time Chandrasekhar, he came out, he saw one person who was so dirty and shabby, so much beard, and was looking like a uh, Muslim person. So then Chandrasekhar told this man to come in and Mahaprabhu is calling him. When this person, who is actually Sanatan Goswami, came in and when Mahaprabhu saw him, he quickly ran to embrace him. But what happened? Sanatan Goswami was pushing, coming back. He w did not want it that Mahaprabhu should touch him. But Mahaprabhu wanted to embrace him because Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu said that by touching yourself, a pure devotee, one can completely become pure. And touching you only to be pure. Then, after some time, Mahaprabhu ordered Chandrasekhar to give nice clothes and uh, give some help to Sanatana Goswami so that he can shave up and dress up like a, like a devotee. Then, after shaving up and taking one, when Chandrasekhar was offering him a new piece of, new piece of cloth, Sanatana Goswami did not accept it that. And instead he asked for an old bhoti, an old piece of cloth which is used by Chandrasekhar. And when Chandrasekhar gave that one dhoti, Sanatana Goswami tore it into three pieces and he made two pieces outer sannyasi clothes, the upper and the lower, and then he made one kupin out of that piece of cloth. And then in that state he came and came in front of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Mahaprabhu saw this dress of Sri Sanatana Goswami, he was very happy and he was very pleased that how nicely Sanatana Goswami was following the principles of Sanyas Ashram. But there was one thing, what Sanatana Goswami was having this valuable blanket given to him by his uh, brother-in-law. And Mahaprabhu sometimes while in the conversation or after a little while he will look at that blanket and in the meantime they also went to Tapan Mishra's house and Mahaprabhu was invited for prasadam and Ma Mahaprabhu took Sri Sanatana Goswami with him to take Mahaprasad. When Mahaprabhu told Tapan Mishra to also give lunch prasad to Sanatana Goswami, then Sanatana Goswami, uh, Tapan Mishra said, no, he has some duties, so please you take first and after you have taken, then Sanatana Goswami will honor Mahaprasad. So after Mahapr Mahaprabhu has taken prasadam and he was resting, Tapan Mishra gave remnants of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Sanatan Goswami. Then when Sanatan Goswami noticed that Mahaprabhu was noticing this blanket, this valuable blanket again and again, then he understood that Mahaprabhu is not pleased with this. So Sri Sanatan Goswami, he went to the Ganges and at the bank there was one poor man and he had washed his old torn quill and he had spread it for drying. Then Sanatan Goswami, he went to this person and asked that if he could trade his valuable blanket for that quilt. And when this person heard these words from Sanatan Goswami, he was kind of surprised and he said, you are a nice gentleman, why you are joking with me? And you are such a sane person, why any sane person would trade this old torn quilt for a valuable blanket? He could not understand, so he was thinking that Sanatana Goswami is joking with him. But when Sanatana Goswami seriously spoke to him, that no, I want you to trade it. And then he gave his valuable blanket to that, uh, that poor person and took his torn quilt. And wearing that quilt around, he, when he came to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became so much happy, overly happy to see that how Sanatana Goswami was following the strict uh, principles of Sanyasa Ashram. He was really pleased that by the mercy of Krishna, Sanatana Goswami has given up all the attraction for 
all the materials and objects. It was not at all having any attachment. And just this last thing, last piece of blanket was holding. And now he had given up that also completely. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very happy to see Sri Ch Sri Ch Sanatana Goswami in that state. Completely depending on Krishna and not having any attraction or attachment to anything mundane. Then Sri Sanatana Goswami, he humbly inquired from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No. Thank you. Oh, this is the process. This, what is the purpose of this story of <coughs> from beginning of his life, the devotees should follow him. How he left his all, everything, position, wealth and money. Even a servant with one coin, he left. Even that blanket, now nothing. He took only old dhoti and make it for, for for this and for this and don't go nothing. There was no money, nothing left with him. If any person wants to go to any high class of devotee to be a devotee, he should be like Sanatana. He should not come with so much wealth in, in his pocket or with bank balance. He can afford. Never he can afford. Like a street beggar. I can tell you the history or life history of your Prabhupada, my friend Slavati Pedan Swami Maharaj. He told himself this story. I think he had never told to others, but I have told to you. Oh. When he took initiation from Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur, he was telling to me this secret thing. Oh, I took initiation, I then began to read Srimad Bhagavatam, to chant and remember also, looking after my job, that uh, Bengal chemical, he was manager at that time, not only manager, he was sole proprietor like. So, but he was hearing that, oh, if anyone chant and remember and follow Krishna, then he will, Krishna will make him a street beggar. So, what to do? I was thinking and thinking, very, I was in problem, <coughs> always worry for this. But I never stop to chant and to hear and to read Srimad Bhagavatam. I went on, hmm? strictly following my Guru order. After some time, oh, Bengal chemical, Wolfeld or he was, huh? he left anyhow, he was bound to left. Then he came to Allahabad and he uh, again he started one medical wow. North so. factory in big way, but is after two years it fell down. Then he started a saw very prominent where Indian prime ministers used to come. But after two months, one two years it also fell. Then he began to be a a representative he used to take something, making himself some medicine. He used to make new, new medicines. And he used to go here and there. But also he could not do. And penniless being, he came to me and he was telling that, now I am penniless, nothing left with me. So Krishna makes it to whom he loves. So Sanatan Goswami, the purpose of this Sanatan Goswami is this. If you want to really to be a very pure devotee, high class of devotee, you will have to follow him like empty pocket, nothing with him. Then Krishna may give you. Otherwise, no. Otherwise you will have to return back from pure devotion. 
so you mm. should try to follow Sanatan Goswami. If you want to have high class of precious prema bhakti, surely we know that all those who have practiced bhakti yoga, or oh, they have followed this. Guru Sanatan Raghunath, also the one son of King Narottam Thakur, Shyamanan, Palde Vidya Bhushan, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he was also high, he had a very high class of position also. He left everything, you know, Srila Because Swamiji was very high class of, his father was very rich person. No, not rich. Or Guru Maharaj was also like a prince. Also the father of Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. Oh, very rich person, very rich person, but he left everything for Krishna. Krishna Prem is more valuable. With all affluence you can attend Krishna. You will have to be one day a straight fellow. And if any you will be like this, oh Krishna can give you so much affluence like Yudhisthira Maharaj, like Prahlad Maharaj, like others, like Nanda Maharaj, Oh, then you can have, yes, like so much. Oh, Swami Maharaj also, oh, so much affluence, lakhs and lakhs, daughter and sons, and so many centers, so many cows here, there. You cannot believe, anyone cannot believe this. So, <coughs> you should try to follow this one, but not very easy. Not really. But we will have to follow. Today, oh, Gaur Pranananda. I think many devotees have a question about what you just said. That when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, you could follow him around by foot. But in this day and age, when the sadhu takes trains across oceans, if one can love all of his money, how can you follow that sadhu? Well, Krishna will make any arrangement. You should be dependent on Krishna. If you are not a, uh, following six principles of Sarnagati, then how can you believe in God? First Sarnagati should come. This is the doorway of Krishna. Krishna should manage. Why? He should be very positive. Go This song by Srila Narottam Das Thakur has a very deep meaning. It appears that the song is going backwards. That is, we know we're supposed to go up the disciplic succession from Diksha Guru, Shiksha Guru, Vaishnavas, Kornatai, then Radha Krishna. But here it seems to be going down. First, Srila Narottam Das Thakur is praying to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that you are the most merciful in all the three worlds. As Sri Narahari sang also, without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's having come here to this world, what would have been the use of this body? We wouldn't have been able to live in this world. Who would have known about the height, the essence of Radha's praying? Who would have known how to enter into the love of the clever gopis and become their servants? But then he says, now you are the most merciful, but you'll find no one more qualified for your mercy than I am, because you're Patita Pavana, the deliverer of the most fallen, and you'll never find one more fallen than I. So I'm the most qualified. Then. 
we're not actually going backwards because Srila Narottam Das Thakur realized that even though Mahaprabhu is the most merciful to the most fallen, and even though I am the most fallen, and even though Srila Narottam Das Thakur is having the quality of the devotee, that I am Adama, I'm the lowest, but that's not an excuse not to pray for mercy, but rather I'm asking you to make me Uttama, the highest. From the lowest, I want to be the highest. And this uh, mood is taught by all of our acharyas. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami prays to Govardhan. Without considering that I have no qualifications, please give me a residence near you. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur prays to Gopinath that is it your way that just because someone is adverse to you and hardly ever chants your name, you have no mercy for them? So this is the mood of our acharyas that Real humility is to know I am the lowest, but I'm asking for that highest thing. So then Srila Narottam Das Thakur is realizing, even though that's true, still I cannot achieve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy without the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu promises that anyone who follows this process of doing prartana prayers in the line of our acharyas in the mood of humility and weeping, and thinking I'm the most wretched and surrendered to his own Gurudev, then Nityananda Prabhu promises that I will personally take charge of that person. And if Mahaprabhu does not accept them, I'll personally make sure that he accepts them. Then Srila Narottam Das Thakur realizes, but how can I get the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu without the mercy of Advaita Acharya, who himself called for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu to come? Then he realizes, how can I get his mercy without the mercy of his servants, the six Goswamis? And how can I get their mercy without the mercy of um, Loganath Goswami? He's the spiritual master of Srila Narottam Das Thakur. And how can I get his mercy without the mercy of his servants, who are my god brothers and who are purely serving him? So in this way, this song is perfectly going up the line of disciplic succession to get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the most merciful because he came to give what no other incarnation or no other Acharya ever gave before, that is, before he came, in the previous day of Brahma, so many trillions of years ago, the divine service of Srimati Radhika. Thank you. When they are chanting, what should we think and what should we do? Oh, this is the good subject here. When chanting, Hare name. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Daya Karamo oh, yes. And Varsito. Lamenting. I am washed. No qualification. I am offender. All unwanted thing in me. Oh Nityananda, be merciful to me. O oh, Advaita Acharya, you have brought Chaitanya Radha and Krishna in this. You have brought Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the shape of Mahaprabhu, but they are Radha and Krishna. Oh, please be merciful. A drop of your mercy. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. It may be that dear become. Your heart will be made. If you are praying from your heart. Oh, but the mercy of Advaita Chari, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, he cannot achieve by without mercy of Sada Goswami, especially Rupa Goswami. O Rupa Goswami, be merciful. You are Jagat Guru. Oh, you are the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You are the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You are everything. Sasarupe, Daitasarupe. 
like this. So be merciful to me. Otherwise I may die. But he is praying to his Gurudev now. Oh, if you are not merciful to me, then oh, anyone will not be merciful to me. Even Sadhguru Swami. Oh, Gurudev, be merciful to me. And then he is praying. Oh, Gurudev, eh, no. Oh, oh, oh Srivast Pandit Prabhu, please give me your association. And but I am unqualified for your association. Please give me the association of your pure disciple. He will reform me. Always giving association. Always, oh, Hari Katha, Hari Katha. Nothing else. So you can. Oh. Any song of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Nartam Thakur, Prema Nunda, Govinda. You can sing and chanting and you can do They will give transcendental power. These are the process. Weeping and chanting. But we have so many desires. Oh, very hard. Our hearts have been more hard than iron and stone. <laughs> but if you are doing in this process, right? everything is okay. These are the process. Any song you can. You know, Rupa Goswami has written Namastakam. <coughs> Nikala Suti Mauli Ratna Mala. Dhoti Niraji Tapata Kanka Jam. Haimukta Kulai Rupashya Mala. Paritas Kanka Jam. Paritimini? Paritimini. I mean, Madha Maharaj will be saying. Nikhila Sati Moli Ratna Maharaj. Go on to repeat. I repeat. So, Rupa Sir explained me, you are praying the lotus feet of Nam Prabhu, that Nikhila Sati Moli Ratna Maharaj, that all Vedas and Upanishad, they are praying and doing Arati of Nam Prabhu, Dukti Nidajita Father Kankajanta. By them they are doing arati of his lotus feet of Namprahu. And who is that Namprahu? Mukta Kulay Pasamanam. He is always served by liberated soul. So I bow down myself, the lotus feet of Namprahu, who is always served by liberated soul and all Upanishad and Vedas doing arati of that Nam Prabhu, I want to take surrender, I want to surrender my son, that's what I'm doing. What do you mean? Ratna Mala here, uh, Shiva Rupa Goswami Bhai is saying that oh, knowledge is in the Veda, but the crest jewels on the head of all the Vedas, these are the Upanishadas. In Upanishad, most excellent transcendental knowledge has been given. But what are the Upanishads doing? They are taking Panch Pradeep, uh, uh, Giwix, five in a lamp, and they are offering Arti, oh, not directly to Harinam, to the rays of effulgence coming out from the tips of the toenails of Harinam. So Srila Rupa Goswami is saying, oh Harinam, you are glorified by all the Dynasties of liberated sages, so I take complete shelter of your lotus feet. Goswami is telling me. Vedas are doing arti. What is the meaning? Only the rays of the Harinam. Who is Harinam? Himself, Krishna. Non different. But more. So all Vedas are a glorifying name, but very far away. They cannot taste all the rasas which is in name. 
So I pray that only liberated person, very high class of person, not only liberated, though has followed the process of Raganga Bhakti, knowing what is Prem, Shne, Man, Prane, Rag, Anurag, Bhav, Mahabhav, especially the Mahabhav of Radhika, those who realize they can glorify and they can chant your name, otherwise not. Our name always full of offenses and more, not so much offense, but even it may be abhas, semblance of name. What is that? Four. For this. And those who are in the association of high class of Raga and Vaishnava, knowing all these things, who is Krishna, who is Rash, Rash Krishna, who is Srimati Radhika, what is Prem Tattva and what is Rasha Tattva, knowing all these things. Oh, they can touch the glory of And when they will chant Hare Krishna, Evang Patashvatriya Nama Krishna Jatan Vang, all they are full of high class of ecstatic, rush, and Ashtu Shakti, mode will come. So they, they can chant of pure name. Because this has been told, Nama Chintamani. Chaitanya Arasha Vigraha. What is the meaning of Arasha Vigraha? Name is a Vigraha of? Full of rush. Full of rush. Ocean of endless ocean of rush. But we don't realize anything. That is, I, I move to Kalari to pass. Only, oh, liberated person having Prem, Shri, Man, Pranam, they know what they can do. Mahaprabhu, Nayanam Galadashu, Jugaitam Nimishena Chapsu Sapra. This is pure. More than that, what? Eighth is slow. Of very high. Even Srimad Bhagavat has not told like this. He has covered. But Chaitanya Chaitam Mahaprabhu has opened it. But who will realize? This is our goal of the life. If we have had touched anything of these, a little bit of taste has come. We cannot decay. We cannot come to worldly life. Never. If or oh, quickly they will be come. Right? Then second name. Jai Nama Dheya Muni Vrinda Geya Janaranjanaya Paramatsarati Pahana Dara Tapi Nikolo Krata Papatalim Vilo Eight and little bit of this. Even Nama Bhas. Jai Nama Dheya Muni Vrinda Geya Ho Muni Sukhde Goswami or Narat Goswami Sukadeva Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Mahaprabhu Himsa. O Shankar like this, always Mahadeva Shankar. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Chanting. Brahma for four mouths. Even Shankar sang with his thousand and thousand of mouths. With thousand and thousand of tongues. Chanting and remembering with the thousand and thousand of minds. But he cannot tell everything. He wants more and more tongue, heart, mind, more and more. Unlimited. Jainamu. 
here. What is the Nama there? Or you are himself Krishna. Krishna has infested all his power, mercy, everything, and he has made name more powerful, more merciful than himself he. Understand? Krishna is not merciful so much because the combined mercy of Radha and all is in name. Nam Nam Kari Bhutari. But we are so unfortunate. We have no test in this. Jai Nam Dei Muni Vrindaviya. Janaran Janaya Paramaksharati. Oh, Bhalli to be merciful and to sprinkle mercy. Oh, he has came in the shape of name. Name are of two kinds. Sabda Brahma and Sabda Samanya. What is Sabda Brahma? Transcendental name himself, Krishna and Radhika. And what is Sabda Samanya? Only word. Having no power. He has heard from anywhere. Bogus Guru from Bogus Guru. Who is not realized. Who is not chanting. Or he has made up his mind that I should not chant more than sixty. Never, never. It will be offense if I am chanting. These bogus gurus. So, if anyone is having all these names from them, or hearing anywhere, or reading Srimad Bhagavad anywhere, and they are chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. No need of guru at all. No need of diksha. No siksha. Oh, why name is himself Krishna? They are bogus person. Offenders. We should try to be far away from them. Namadhe muni brindagaya janaranjanaya par. So, to be merciful, you have come descended in the form of aksha. What is aksha? Celebrity. If anyone he chants, but no honor, even no harm, or beginner's without honor, without knowing the glory, and he utters this name, what becomes? All kinds of difficulties, sorrow, suffering, birth, death, and everything. Even, even all kinds of honors and everything we go. We just would hear presently all this and try to realize these facts. <coughs> After that, Jadanama Bhasho Pi Uddhan Kavadita Bhavadhanta Vibhavo Dishantattam Dhanam Api Dishat Bhakti Pranayinim Janastascha Uddhatam Bhavan Nama Tarani Kritika. And after this, Jat Brahma Shakchat Kriti Nishtha Api Vinasam Mayat Vinan Bhogai Apaitu Nama Shpurani Natate Prarab. He Brahma Gyani, he has achieved the Brahma Gyan. Or don't sleep, try to close to open your heart and seek like this. Very small. But Brahma You have received Brahma This is Nishtha. But even now you are qualified to have Brahma Gyan. That part I am Brahma. Sarvam Khaludam. And he is about to liberate, but he will have to suffer for his prarabdha karma. What is prarabdha karma? Prarabdha karma? There are so many kinds of karma. Prarabdha, aprarabdha, u, bija, abhidya. Five kinds. Prarabdha karma? What is the meaning of prarabdha karma? You know? Oh, we should all try to know all this. 
because we are in training center. Different stages. We are here, we are in training center for seven days. Uh, you have attended seven days in Beza. <coughs> you should now think that we are in training center. I may examine you. <laughs> and if you are not qualified, I may cut your name. <laughs> so I will examine and I will promote also. No? I can ask questions to anyone who are here. So you should be alert that Maharaj can ask anything. Brahma Shakshat Kriti Nishthayati. But yet, you will have to taste, you will have to suffer Prarabdha Karma. Prarabdha Karma, what is meaning? Sri Rupa Goswami Pad is written, Aparabdham Palam Pahapam. No, no, don't. Kutam Bijam Palam. What I am telling you should only do. Otherwise, you will take all time. Prarabdha karma means. What is Prarabdha karma? Prarabdha karma means the reactions of our fruitive activities which are fructifying in this life in the form of this body. Already has been given only for Prarabdha karma. But yet there have been no um, endless ocean of our karma, good and bad, are still in his stone. Only the karmas which are or now to be tested or oh, from that our this body has been and if we friend we will test all these things again or oh, the new comes from that store will come that is a problem and by faith it comes who heap of all this uh, it comes from ignorant. What ignorant? Krishna Bhuli Ji, you? To forget Krishna. This is our main ignorance. So all will go away. Only by one name if it is manifest. In our heart. manifest. What is the meaning of Krishna? Oh, we cannot take from all. By tongue. Srivan Mokohi Jivadus. If you are surrendered, then it may be that your first your all offense will go. All offenses. And Shanam for a moment, oh he can come more or tongue. And he will dance. But very easy. We should wait for this. If one name has come and dancing in the worship, then or your all kinds of karma, karma your prarabdha karma, aprarabdha karma easily can go. All, but you will have to test even Brahma Jnani. Have to test. But if anyone joins, or even even a, one name is coming and dancing in your tongue, then your all good or vidya, everything will go away by one name. Then you should have this faith, strong faith. So don't be weak. Oh, nothing we cannot chant. We will not chant. Or only distribution of books and all other things are. Mm-hmm. Or don't be. Try to chant more with your mind. Agadamani Jasoda Ananda Nauranda Sunu Kamala Nayani Gopi Chandra Vinda Pranat Karna Krishna Vityani Kasvarupi Bhai Mamari Jodhya. You can chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Oh Krishna, you are Agadaman. He Agadaman. What is the meaning? You have control of Hasur. You have skill. Oh, Agasur is the embodiment of all kinds of offenses. Oh, I am so offensive. 
be merciful. Like Agastho, you should take my all offenses. Agataman Jashoda Nanda no, Nanda Shuno, Kamala Nain, Gopi Chandra, Brinda Vananda, Pranta Paruna Krishna, Oh Krishna, your name, all these things. They should come with the oh, full of rush, saturated with rush in my heart. Hmm? Shuddhitasvich Dhanati Rasai Ramma Chit Kandu Sukhusadupini. Nam Gopur Mahasavai Tetruna Pabushe. O Krishna, come in my heart with your full appearance. You are the Mahasav of Gopur. Mahasav means? Anyone, if sees you, meets you, remembers you, chants you, Gokul Mahatsa. <coughs> Gokul Mahatsa. Oh, you should manifest yourself in my heart. Oh, big expectation. Oh, Mahabharat, Srimad Bhagavat man come. Yes. And then Nard, Veena, Jivan, Sudhar, Minit, Jash, Madhuri, Pura, Kam Krishna, Nama, Kama, Purami, Rasani. Oh, you are. Very fond of Nara. When he takes Bina and Radhika, <coughs> Nara Dabba Jai Bina, Radhika Ramana Name, Nara Damuni Pajai Bina, Radhika Ramana Name. So, oh, this name, with full of rush, saturated with rush, you should manifest yourself. So you should make any uh, idleness, be weak, weak, or in charge. Always chant. Always chant. If you have time, it will give more uh, sahayata, help, then you are making money. Money can kill you. 